Hi, this is Dan Malloy from NYC Math Tutoring and Test Prep. Today I want to show you the fundamentals of GTD methodology. GTD is an acronym for Getting Things Done, and it's a concept created by a gentleman named David Allen, and there's a picture of him there on his book. And the reason I wanted to do this video, people often ask me how I manage to keep a busy schedule and at the same time stay organized and keep everything under control. And I think people are often surprised by my answer. It's less about discipline and willpower because willpower is a limited resource. Even the most disciplined people get stressed and overwhelmed sometimes. And productivity is really more about systems and processes for dealing with all the stuff in our lives. So what is stuff and where does stuff come from and what's the problem with having too much stuff? Well, stuff is anything we might do or not do. It includes errands, phone calls, emails, meetings, classes, dates, projects, and ideas. Things pop into our head at the randomest times. When we're hungry at home and we want a bowl of cereal, we realize there's no milk. And that's when we think, boy, I should buy milk. We didn't think of it when we were walking down the street coming home from work. We had every opportunity to stop at the corner and buy milk. But where was that idea then? right it there was no trigger to bring it up so stuff comes from random places at the randomest times and isn't always present at the right moment for us to deal with it stuff comes from people who we're responsible to produce things for like our teachers our bosses our parents or just people who ask us for things right our friends maybe want us to do them a favor it comes from clubs and groups and teams that we belong to right where we're actively participating but we want to do our part and our own individual goals and pursuits right things that we're curious about that nobody is making us do but that we just want to do the problem is we're so busy dealing with loads of stuff that sometimes we can't meet all our commitments and that's when we get overwhelmed so GTD methodology is a system that helps us prioritize so that we can be productive and stress-free the first step to a successful productivity system is simply collecting all your stuff in one place. In a later video we'll talk about Evernote, which is a popular software program often used for GTD that I really recommend. But certainly you don't need any special tools um, to collect your stuff. You just need to commit to a single location, whether that be a notebook that you carry around, or your smartphone, or a Word document, or even a tape recorder. As long as ultimately it all gets funneled into one location that you can absolutely trust and that you'll look at on a regular basis, then you're on the right track. So basically you just go about your life doing whatever it is that you do, uh, gathering stuff, until there comes a time when you need to process what you've collected. So the first question is, for each item that you've collected, is it actionable? Many things that come across our plate require a decision initially as to whether or not they're truly actionable. For example, suppose your teacher is offering an extra credit assignment. You took the assignment handout, stuffed it in your folder at the end of class, and now you're holding it, looking at it, and considering whether or not you actually want to complete this. So you ask yourself, do you have time? How much work is going to be involved in this? And how much do you even really need the extra credit? What's your grade right now? And when do you need to decide by? What will happen if you do nothing right now? And is there anything else you might need to find out before you can actually make the decision? Now these questions might seem a little obvious or maybe even a bit excessive. It's kind of automatic because we do, we go through this every day in some form or another. But too often we're not thinking as clearly and decisively as we could be when something comes to our attention because we're already a little rattled, maybe a bit out of control because of all the other important questions that we're holding in our heads. So the idea here is that by separating the collection process from actually processing the decisions, we give ourselves that little bit of mental space that we need in order to objectively decide what's important. So sticking with the same example, there's two possible outcomes for the extra credit assignment. If you find out that you already have an A, and you don't really need extra credit, you might just throw the paper away. Simple as that. So some stuff came in, you chose not to do anything with it, and it goes in the trash. End of story. The other possibility is that maybe you don't need the extra credit now, but later in the year maybe your grade may drop and 
your teacher is open to accepting submissions anytime in the future, so in that case you might store the paper to be referenced later if needed.